Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to this month's update. This month's Team Thomas update. We hope you are all doing great. We're excited to share just some more about what's going on in our personal lives of our family and in the ministry. And yeah, like always, we just look forward to being able to update you. So why don't we start out and update you a little bit on what's going on in our family and also specifically what's going on with Holden and Callahan, just to give you a little update about them as well. So I guess in order to do that, we've got to go get Holden back. Oh yeah. So he can share all about what's going on with him. We'll be right back. So let's talk about Holden because Holden had a big month in February. Yeah, he what did. happened in February? What was it? Your what? Telling you. Your birthday. <laughs> How old did you turn? I turned three. Three. Who? Um. What kind of birthday party did you have? What was your I birthday? What's one of your favorite shows? I just have a red Daniel Tiger. A red Daniel Tiger birthday. Oh my goodness! Was it so fun? Yeah. It's a good time, huh? So now that you're three, Holden, can we ask you some questions? Okay. Can I eat one? one? You can yeah. eat one, sure. So, Holden, you're three. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Ooh, blue. What is your favorite, hmm, what is your favorite book to read? My favorite book is Dinosaur books. There's dinosaur books. Cool. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. What's your favorite food? What do you like to eat? I like eating oatmeal and cereal. Oatmeal and cereal. Love yeah. big breakfast, kid. He had, he had two bowls of oatmeal this morning. Big breakfast, kid. Yeah, just like his mommy. Um, okay, hold on. What is your favorite sport to play? Ooh. My favorite sport is playing. Soccer ball and baseball. Soccer ball and baseball. And do you play those in class sometimes with Daddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, don't split your hand. Yeah, you do a really good job. You get to see all the kids. Mm -hmm. Hold on, what was your favorite thing about your birthday? My favorite thing was playing games and open presents. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. It was a so, party. speaking of your birthday party, so um, probably Mitch. Just gonna put some pictures up here, mm -hmm. but we also so we like fun decorations. Yeah, we we did Whoa, it as big as we good. could in like okay. a COVID friendly way. So Holden asked, as you heard, for a red Daniel Tiger birthday party. If you've never heard of Daniel Tiger, it's a <laughs> the sweetest show on PBS, kind of like an offshoot of Mr. Rogers, if you're mm -hmm. familiar with that. And so what did what do we do to the house, Holden? Mm -hmm. What do we do? What would we make it look like? Made it look like what? We made it into a neighborhood. Yeah, the neighborhood. The neighborhood, yeah. So uh, Mitch and I, Holden went to bed the day before his mm -hmm. birthday, and Mitch and I kicked it into gear and oh, tried yeah. our best to turn most of the rooms in our house into one of the like. It looked know, really good. Settings from the show, what, like a scene from the show. Yeah, so, it looked really good. Yeah, it was fun. Um, so, I think you, Mitch put together a little video, a video tour of it. So, are you going to put that maybe in the update? Yeah. Somewhere, like if you scroll down, it'll be a video. Uh oh, kids falling apart. Hey, hold it. High five, bud. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank Happy you. Birthday. Thank you, MMs. <laughs> now, hold it. Um, who, who is sitting right next to you? Do you want to introduce? Oh. Who's this? Who is this? Gotta take your hand out. Who is it? Who's this guy? Can you tell us? Got these all over your face. Boy. What do you always say when we, when, whenever we come up to someone in the park or grocery store, Holden always says, what do you say? You point to Callie and you say, This is mine. This is my brother. What's his name? Callie. Yeah, my brother named Callie. Should we do Callie's update, Holden? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's move into Callie's update. So Callahan turned six months old yesterday. Oh, 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 from the day this one. was being filmed. So March 2nd, he turned six, six months, months old. And 
What does that mean, Mommy? Oh my goodness, Callie is on the move. Yeah. Um, let's see, what's he up to? He can roll. He rolls, he yeah. is starting to scoot. Yes, Callie! Yes! You did it, buddy! You did it! He does uh, like the inchworm. Like, yeah. he can get himself to what he wants just by scooting. Are you on the edge of crawling? Oh, are you? You don't want to tell them your secrets? He is a little ham. He is amazing. We're hoping very, very soon, actually probably this week or next week, we'll probably give him some food, almost said food, <laughs> solid food for the first time. And uh, that'll be really interesting because there can't be a meal where we're eating or drinking and he's not like trying to grab at it. And it seems like he knows what to do with the, the, the food and the cups trying to like put it towards his mouth. So that'll be, that'll be interesting and really fun to see. I can't believe it's already Six months six in with this little guy. Months. Yeah, six months. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else going on with you? Oh, so Callie had his first experience with snow. Um, I want to say within the last couple of months, and so that was fun. So I think at six months, babies don't really do that much. So I think that <laughs> probably sums up a little bit of what uh, Callie's all about. But we'll continue to keep you updated on how this not so little man is growing and yeah, just what he's up to. You know the best part about it is um, seeing these two together and just seeing the relationship that they have and it seems like they have the, their own little almost nonverbal language that they speak and it's just so sweet to watch. And, um, you love your brother? Mm -hmm. You love him. What's your favorite thing about Callie? Mm -hmm. Help him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Callahan, your brother? What do you like to do with him? I like to play games with him. You like to play games with him? That's cool. So that gives you a little bit of an update about our two boys and what they're up to. How about we move into sharing a little bit more about what us as a whole family have been doing over these past couple months since our last update. So, since the last update, Christmas happened. We hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Um, and we did all the Christmassy things, and mm -hmm. that was really fun. And then, I would say, like Holden said, we did a lot of um, snow play this oh, last. Oh, yeah. A ton of snow we got. Month. Yeah. Got a lot of snow so far. Yeah. And one of us is hoping that the snow's not over. And one of us is hoping that we don't get any more this year. But we did have fun with the snow that we got. So, Holden, what was your favorite thing about being in the snow this year? Yeah, you're a good shoveler. Do you remember Daddy threw snow at you? You remember I threw snow at you and you fell? That was funny, wasn't it? You've been ice skating? Yeah. All those snow things. <laughs> Probably the other biggest thing was Holden's birthday party, which mm -hmm. He already told you about. And, um... Honestly, it's been a very, in this season, not only just the season of the pandemic, but the season of, you want me to take one of these guys? Yes. <laughs> Come here, buddy. In this season of just ministry and just life as a family in general, it's been, oh, I'll wait till this guy calms down. So really just in general, it's just been a really nice slow season for us as a family, not really feeling like we have to go anywhere, just really taking it slow, enjoying things like the snow, and yeah, just not not feeling frantically running around to places has actually been really nice, and um, yeah, it's just been a really, it's been an enjoyable season for us really spending time with our family and really spending time with these boys and getting to, to see them grow, and that's been really enjoyable. All right, so now moving into the next portion, we're going to give little Callahan a break here, and I'll share with you just what's been going on in the world of Push the Rock. So Push the Rock, like many organizations and ministries and just businesses and individuals in general, have been trying to navigate how to do life in this season. It's crazy to think that we're almost exactly a year since I think quarantine started. And in that season, it just totally threw everything off in terms of our programming and things got shut down immediately. And 
it just definitely put us in a, in a season that we weren't sure about. And even a year later right now, we're still trying to navigate how we can do what we do with ministering in person to kids and doing these programs and planning for camps and doing these things in a season where things like masks and just distancing and safety and, and cleaning, these are just all things that you don't really normally think about during these programs. So it's been, I'd be lying if I didn't say it's been difficult. It's, <laughs> it is a task trying to plan events and plan games and things like that that have these things in mind, but I think the bottom line is I'm so thankful to be able to even continue to still be able to do partner or do programs and do the things that we enjoy doing and the things that I get to, as I share with you in some of the emails and the testimonies, just get to hear from these parents about how much their kids, especially in this season who don't have much to do, can come and especially in a, a Christian, godly environment, get to play sports and see other kids. Um, it's been great. So some things that we have either on the horizon or what we're doing right now. I currently am running one homeschool phys ed class in Souderton. Normally I'm running about four, sometimes five um, a week, but obviously with COVID and some restrictions and, and things like that, some of the classes have had to be canceled, but I'm thankful that there's one class I'm able to run. And as I said, there's about 40 kids that are gonna be coming in this upcoming session. Um, and that's a blessing. And again, we're having masks, um, and we're trying to keep them separate and trying to do games that kind of allow for more distancing. But it's been such an encouragement to still in this season be able to do ministry. Um, so that program will go until, I would say, about probably mid to late April. And then after that, we're currently right now, our team is planning what our summer camp season is going to look like. And this is definitely similar to last year, going to look different than a typical summer camp year. Um, we are only going to be probably, if any, going to be doing maybe one to two weeks of in-person camp. We're trying to have a couple in-person camps in each district, but um, again, just trying to navigate what our comfort levels and what we're able to do and what us as a ministry feel like we are, are willing to kind of do going into the summer in terms of in-person so we could have safety be a, uh, the first priority as well. Um, but another thing we are planning on doing this year is we are going to bring back our virtual camps. Last summer was the first summer we did it, and it was definitely a new realm, a new territory for the ministry that we had never done, and God definitely used it. Um, I think last year in total between the two camps, we had about 30 kids come on through our virtual programs, and again, just hearing the testimonies, hearing how it impacted the families, and just hearing how God allowed us to adapt in that way, um, it really encouraged us. It's something we want to continue to build upon, so we're going to try and run I think three, three or four virtual camps this summer where we're going to include all sports, which is a different sport focus each day, and probably some basketball and soccer as well. But it's just a new, a new area of ministry that we're just excited to be a part of. And on the, obviously on the whole um, topic of COVID, continuing to plan in the spring, you know, summer, early fall, we used to try and have a fundraiser as well in Buxmont. A lot of years it's a banquet, some years it's a tournament, so we're trying to navigate as well just what in, in this season, I keep saying that term a lot, but it really is in this continued unique season of ministry, how and what can we do to one, be able to convey the work that God is continuing to do and push the rock even throughout um, COVID. And actually on that note, there's actually a page that was created on our website that I worked on um, that if you go to www.pushtherock.org, right on our homepage, if you scroll down a little, there's a section there that says God, it says God's work throughout COVID. And that was created um, mainly just because throughout this year of ministry, there have been doors that we never would have thought would have been open that have continued to just impact people. And this is not only in the U.S., but internationally, whether it be food distribution um, opportunities we've been able to do to help families in need whether it's programs that have been able to be started virtually that wouldn't have happened in another way, or um, eSports is another aspect to Push the Rock, which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of more of a virtual gaming um, world. <laughs> it's very popular, but that's something Push the Rock's trying to funnel into a little bit. So all of these things that God is just, we never would have probably even thought of if it hadn't been for COVID. So we are, um, we just want to put those out there for people to be able to, to see and hear some specific ways Push the Rock's been able to um, yeah, just continue to follow God's leading in this season. But overall, the ministry is is doing well. I would say I'm doing well. Um, some prayers, uh, specifically prayers for continued health um, are important. I'll put some more prayer requests below, but just some specific things to share is 
prayers for continued health. Um, like I said, we are running programs in person. We're trying to be as safe as we can, but the goal is obviously to not have anything happen at our program so we can continue to do those and that everybody can stay safe. Um, I would say continued prayers for wisdom just in decision making. It is hard to make decisions in this season. Um, there's decisions that sometimes please people, sometimes don't. It's just it's a season that we want to we want to do what's best and, and safest for everybody but um, yeah we definitely as a ministry want to continue to hopefully be able to do what we do and love love doing and sharing the gospel with these kids through sports. So prayers for wisdom um, right now and then as we continue to plan what the summer will look like and just even beyond um, just the ministry in general right now I think needs prayer in that way and yeah I think that about sums up um, right now what's been going on with Push the Rock we're continuing to try and be creative and expand our mind and think outside the box of how we can continue to to be a light into this world continue to provide opportunities for families and kids that don't have a ton um, right now to do and Again, we're just so thankful for what God has provided and excited to see what continues to happen in this uh, season of ministry. On behalf of our family, we just want to, as always, just thank you so much for your prayers and your consistent partnership and support of our family because we know there are so many amazing causes to give to and especially in this difficult season, the consistent prayers and continued support allow us to be able to do what we do, help us feel encouraged and really just continue to remind us that God has us here for a purpose, and we're so thankful for that. We're so thankful for, sorry if you could hear holding the bass playing or doing something, but that's, that's the fun part that's about life. This, right? But we're so thankful for you, and we pray for you constantly. Please continue to let us know if there are ways we can pray for you, and until our next update, we pray that you are all safe and healthy, and yeah, we are just so thankful for you, and that we get to do ministry alongside of you and have you as partners. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs>